Have you ever wondered why negative exponents don't give you negative answers? I'm going to show you right now. We know that exponents talk about repeated multiplication. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, and we know that equals 8. And we know that 2 times 2 is 4. Think about this for just a second. You're multiplying by 1 less 2, so isn't that the same thing as dividing by 2? They cancel and you end up with 4. So every time you go down in an exponent, you are actually dividing. You're not subtracting, you are dividing. When you go up in exponents, you are multiplying. So to go from 4 to the next answer, you would divide by 2, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And now to go down to the 0 exponent, you're going to follow the same pattern. Take 2 and divide it by 2, and that gives us a 1. And that might answer a question for you too. Now to go negative, follow the same pattern. Take this 1, and you are going to divide it by 2. So that gives you 1 half. Do it again to get 2 to the negative 2. This time we're going to take that 1 half and we're going to divide that by 2. That would be 1 fourth. Now take 1 fourth and divide it by 2. Well, half of a fourth is an eighth. And you could continue this pattern if you wanted to, but I'm going to go back and show you this. You started with 2 to the third power equals 8, and we ended up with 2 to the negative third power equals 1 over 8. Well, 1 eighth is 1 over 2 to the third power. So then somebody noticed the shortcut. I want to caution you guys, the shortcut isn't the rule. What you're looking at right now is the mathematics. Somebody did the math first, and those are the rules, and then they came up with the shortcut. So if you can't remember the shortcut, just use the math. Use the rules. Shortcuts aren't rules.